Welcome back to our second intermission show. I'm joined by hockey legend Johnny Bauer. Recently celebrated his 90th birthday, but is still making the rounds. And Johnny, just talk about what hockey meant to you growing up and how it turned you into the man you are today. Of course, uh, coming as a uh, hockey meant a great deal to me as a childhood dream. And uh, I was always dreamed to uh, make the National Hockey League and listening to Foster Hewitt in those, in, in, in those days. And, uh, and uh, so, uh, but... Uh, very enjoyable. My dream, dream came true to make the National Hockey League in the Hall of Fame, and it was a great honor. And for a lot of people, it doesn't happen right away. For you, it didn't happen right away. You didn't no, stick didn't. in the NHL until you are in your 30s. Yeah, that's right. So yeah. what message would you have for a hockey player who's maybe not playing AAA when they're a youth hockey player, if they still aspire to play in the NHL one day? I, I always uh, believed in hard work, and uh, no matter what profession you choose, whether it's baseball, hockey, or anything there, if you don't work hard, for something uh, uh, you're not going to get anywhere. And I worked hard for it. And uh, Because if you want something real bad, you're going to get it. You, but you can't get it easy with these guys today. Like, so, yeah. Like getting into the military at the age of 15, along those lines? Pardon me? Getting into the military at the age of 15? Well, I was, yeah, I, I told them the right age, but they wouldn't believe me. <laughs> I lied a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I got in because my other players... Uh, went overseas. Well, they went to Vernon, B.C., and then they went overseas. I didn't see action. I went over. I was very, very lucky because when I got over there in the unit, they were going to Dieppe, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and I thought, uh, they, uh-oh, so I'm going to go there. So uh, I ended up, st uh, everybody went, but they found out how old it was, so they held me back in Vernon, and I thought I was really mad, but uh, there's, I think three, was three players from, from Prince Albert that went over, and when and uh, they never came back. And, uh, you know, bingo, he, they were gone. And they were good hockey players, too, yeah. I'm sure we lost many great hockey players from that generation. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and you, you earned many accolades throughout your career, three Calder Cup championships, three consecutive Stanley Cups, and then a fourth with the Maple Leafs. What means the most to you at this point in your life when you take a look back at, at everything you accomplished? Is it maybe standing for something or supporting something like the Alzheimer's Society? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm very happy and pleased to be here for this event that you mentioned. But uh, I, uh, I just dreamt, you know, my dreams finally came true. And uh, I like to help work with kids more than anything and, and that. And I enjoy it. And I never said no to anybody. And uh, I always was taught when we, had, when we were kids, we never had nothing to as well during the present time and, and that. So when uh, my father told me, he said, you'd be good to then. Just remember and uh, keep going to school and this and that. And uh, I follow the footsteps and I, I like working with them. Right, great. Thank you very much, Mr. Bauer. And I'll send it back to, we'll send it to break and then come back with our third period between the Pete's and Jens. You're watching the OHL tonight on TV Kojiko.